Welcome to another episode of Aquator Technologies TV, where we delve into the captivating world of science, technology, business, and history. Imagine a world shrouded in darkness, where the vivid hues of a sunrise, the twinkle of stars, or the smile of a loved one are all but lost. An existence devoid of visual stimuli, where the world is experienced through touch, sound, and smell. This is the reality for those among us with genetic diseases leading to blindness. The ability to see is a gift we often take for granted, yet it profoundly influences our interactions with the world and each other. Vision is our primary source of information about the environment. It allows us to recognize faces, read books, appreciate art, and navigate our surroundings. When this ability is impaired or lost, it can be incredibly isolating. But what if we could restore it? What if we could rewrite the genetic code causing blindness and light up the world for those living in darkness? Enter CRISPR, a groundbreaking technology that's making waves in the scientific community and for a good reason. CRISPR, or Clustered Regularly Interspaced Short Palindromic Repeats, is a revolutionary tool that acts like precise molecular scissors allowing scientists to edit genes with unprecedented ease and accuracy. In the realm of vision, CRISPR offers a beacon of hope. By harnessing this technology, scientists are beginning to tackle genetic diseases that lead to blindness, providing a glimmer of light at the end of a long, dark tunnel for many. The magic of CRISPR is its potential to transform lives. For someone who has never seen the world in all its colourful glory, or for someone who has lost their sight and yearns to see again, this technology could be a game-changer. It's not just about restoring vision, it's about restoring independence, confidence and the joy of experiencing the world visually. Thanks to the groundbreaking technology known as CRISPR, the impossible is becoming a reality. Join us as we journey into the fascinating world of CRISPR, exploring its potential to reverse blindness and change lives forever. CRISPR, or Clustered Regularly Interspaced Short Palindromic Repeats, is a revolutionary biological tool that is transforming gene editing. Picture this, a pair of molecular scissors, precise and efficient, able to cut and paste genes like a well-versed wordsmith. That's CRISPR for you. It's a game changer, making gene editing not just a possibility, but a reality that's within reach. This technology is as groundbreaking as it is affordable. It's like a democratization of gene editing, taking what was once the realm of high-tech labs and making it accessible to scientists around the world. It's not an overstatement to say that CRISPR is reshaping our understanding of genetics. But what's even more exciting are the applications. CRISPR isn't just a tool for the lab, it's a tool with real-world implications. In agriculture, for instance, it's being used to create crops that are hardier, more nutritious, or more resistant to pests. It's a technology that could help feed the world. And then there's medicine. The potential here is staggering. Imagine being able to edit out a genetic disease to literally cut it out of a person's DNA. That's what CRISPR offers. It's being used to develop treatments for conditions from cancer to cystic fibrosis. It's even being used to prepare organs for transplantation, a process that could save countless lives. But it's not just about treating diseases. CRISPR could also be used to enhance our abilities to make us faster, stronger or smarter. It's a technology that could redefine what it means to be human. Of course, all of this is only the beginning. The full potential of CRISPR is still being explored and every day brings new discoveries. It's a thrilling time to be alive, to witness the dawn of a new era in genetics. This powerful tool has opened up new possibilities in the realm of genetics. It's a testament to human ingenuity a symbol of our endless quest for knowledge. And most importantly, it's a beacon of hope for all those whose lives could be transformed by this revolutionary technology. But how does this incredible technology work? At the heart of CRISPR's power is an enzyme, a kind of biological catalyst acting as molecular scissors. This enzyme is no ordinary one. It's a particularly special type guided by a piece of artificial RNA a molecule that's a close cousin to DNA. The RNA is the guiding star, leading the enzyme to the correct location on the DNA strand. 
It's like putting the right address into a GPS system for a precision-guided mission. Once the enzyme arrives at its destination, it performs its primary function, snipping the DNA strand at the exact spot indicated by the RNA guide. The process is akin to a highly skilled surgeon making a precise incision during an operation. But instead of a surgeon's scalpel, we've got a molecular pair of scissors. And instead of human tissue, we're dealing with the very fabric of life itself, DNA. But the magic doesn't stop there. Once the DNA is cut, the cell's natural repair machinery swings into action. It's like a biological emergency response team rushing to the scene to fix the damage. But in this case, the damage is intentional, a part of the plan. As the cell repairs the DNA, a new sequence is introduced. This new sequence can be anything the scientists choose. It could be a sequence to fix a genetic disease, enhance a particular trait, or even deactivate a harmful gene. It's like patching a computer program, except the program is a living organism, and the code is written in the language of life. This process gives scientists unprecedented control over the genetic makeup of organisms. It's like having a control panel for life itself, with switches to turn genes on or off at will. This is the power of CRISPR, a technology that's transforming everything from medicine to agriculture and beyond. This precise mechanism allows scientists to alter specific genes, turning them on or off at will. Recent experiments have explored the use of CRISPR as a gene therapy to treat genetic eye diseases this fascinating application of biotechnology is rapidly transforming the landscape of medical science, offering extraordinary possibilities for those living in the shadow of genetic disorders. Consider the pioneering work being undertaken by the University of Pennsylvania and Harvard Medical School. Their studies are nothing short of remarkable. They have demonstrated that visually impaired patients can experience significantly improved vision, and all it takes is a single injection. Just imagine a world shrouded in darkness, suddenly illuminated by the flick of a genetic switch. It's as if these scientists have found a way to rewrite the code of life itself. The focus of these experiments is to reverse genetic mutations that cause debilitating diseases like Leber congenital amaurosis, or LCA for short. LCA is a rare inherited disorder that primarily affects the retina, the specialized tissue at the back of the eye that detects light and color. People with this disorder typically experience severe vision loss at birth, which worsens over time, often leading to complete blindness. The treatment involves introducing a healthy version of the faulty gene into the cells of the retina. The CRISPR system, acting as a precise pair of molecular scissors, allows scientists to cut out the faulty gene and replace it with the healthy version. The cell's natural repair mechanisms then stitch the new gene into place. The implications of this are profound. For the first time in human history, we have the tools to directly tackle and potentially reverse the effects of certain genetic diseases. It's as if we're standing on the precipice of a new era, where the concept of incurable genetic diseases becomes a thing of the past. This new treatment offers a ray of hope to those suffering from progressive blindness. And while we are still in the early stages, the promise of CRISPR to transform lives is a testament to the extraordinary power of science and human ingenuity. While the results have been promising, it's crucial to acknowledge that the technology is still in its experimental stages. Let's delve into the stirring accounts of those who have experienced the transformative power of CRISPR. Imagine living in a world of darkness, where the simple joy of watching a sunset or the ability to navigate your surroundings independently seems a distant dream. For patients who have undergone CRISPR therapy, these dreams have turned into a reality. They speak of the profound moments that most of us take for granted, like picking up a fork or recognizing a loved one's face. Their narratives paint a vivid picture of the newfound abilities, the life-changing improvements in vision, and the overwhelming gratitude that comes with it. But as we revel in these heartwarming anecdotes, it's essential to keep our feet firmly planted in the realm of reality. The procedure, as transformative as it may be, did not work for all patients. Some saw no improvement, while in others, the positive effects were only temporary. The reasons for these varied outcomes remain unclear. 
reminding us that the science of gene editing is still a landscape filled with uncharted territories. The need for more extensive trials to confirm safety and efficacy cannot be overstated. While the initial studies have shown promise, they represent the tip of the iceberg in the grand scheme of things. The journey from a successful laboratory experiment to a widely accepted treatment is long and arduous, fraught with numerous trials and tribulations. Scientists emphasize the importance of patience and rigorous testing as we strive to understand the full spectrum of CRISPR's potential and limitations. And then there are the ethical concerns. The power to edit genes to alter the very fabric of life is not something to be taken lightly. As we hold the molecular scissors, we must always remember the weight of our responsibility. The potential misuse of this technology, from creating designer babies to augmenting human capabilities beyond natural limits, looms ominously in the background. The scientific community and society at large must engage in a serious dialogue about the ethical boundaries of gene editing. CRISPR is a double-edged sword. On one hand, it holds the promise of alleviating human suffering, of curing genetic diseases that have plagued us for millennia. On the other hand, it raises profound questions about the nature of life and our role as its stewards. It's a delicate balance, a tightrope walk between the potential benefits and the ethical dilemmas. As we celebrate the successes, we must also tread carefully to avoid unforeseen consequences and potential misuse. The journey of CRISPR is just beginning. And as we navigate this brave new world, we must do so with a sense of caution, humility, and respect for the power that we wield. The success of CRISPR in treating genetic eye diseases is just the beginning. Indeed, the horizon of CRISPR's potential is vast and ever-expanding. The technology's ability to accurately and effectively edit genes means it can be applied to a wide array of fields from agriculture to medicine. The implications are staggering as we're essentially rewriting the very code of life. Consider this. There are over 6,000 known genetic disorders. Many of these, such as sickle cell disease or Huntington's, are currently incurable. But with the advent of CRISPR, we are on the cusp of a new dawn. The same technology that has been used to restore vision could be harnessed to remedy these conditions. Take sickle cell disease, for instance. It's a debilitating blood disorder caused by a single mutation in the hemoglobin gene. Researchers are already making strides in using CRISPR to correct this mutation, offering a ray of hope to millions worldwide. Similarly, cancer, the notorious emperor of all maladies, could potentially be dethroned. As we know, cancer is a result of genetic mutations that cause cells to grow and divide uncontrollably. With CRISPR's precision, we could potentially target and edit these rogue genes, providing a new way to combat this deadly disease but the potential of CRISPR extends beyond treating diseases. It could revolutionize the field of organ transplantation. Currently, the demand for organs far outstrips the supply. But imagine if we could modify pig organs to be compatible with the human body, or better yet, engineer organs directly from a patient's own cells. This could eliminate the issue of organ rejection and save countless lives. Of course, with great power comes great responsibility. The ability to edit life's code is not something to be taken lightly. As we venture into this brave new world, we must tread carefully. We need robust ethical guidelines to prevent misuse and unintended consequences. We must ensure that this technology is used for the betterment of humanity, not its detriment. Moreover, CRISPR is not a magic bullet. It is a tool, and like all tools, it is only as good as the hands that wield it. That's why continued research and development are crucial. We need to refine the technology, understand its limitations, and learn how to use it effectively and safely. So, what's next for CRISPR? The possibilities are as vast as our imagination. We could potentially eradicate genetic diseases, revolutionize organ transplantation, and even extend human lifespan. But to fully harness the potential of this revolutionary technology, we need to continue exploring, experimenting and learning. With CRISPR, we are standing on the brink of a new era in medicine and genetics, full of promise, potential and exciting challenges.